<laughs> Unreal living. Unreal living here in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, main reason for that is about seven or eight days ago, uh, when I was camped out on the side of the road, my, my laptop and my camera, not my GoPro though, because obviously I'm recording on it right now, uh, so my laptop, my Canon camera that I was taking a lot of really good photos for my blog, uh, as well as a little bit of money got stolen from my dry bag uh, when I was camped out on the side of the road. And uh, so I mean last week or so, haven't had a laptop to upload any videos, which kind of sucks. Uh, but I made it all the way here to, uh, to Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, I mean, logistically, to do the, the cycle tour how I want to do it is going to be a little bit more difficult. So there might be a change of plans uh, in the upcoming... Uh, few months here. I really just wanted to ride all the way through Cambodia, through Thailand, um, but at this point it looks like I might stay in Ho Chi Minh City here and uh, teach English for a bit to replenish uh, some, of the, some of the funds and the electronics that I need to really kind of do the cycle tour the way that I want to do it. Um, and also because I just cycled, uh, I've been cycling for the past you know, four weeks pretty pretty well straight. And one thing that I didn't really do is actually stop and enjoy uh, the places that I was really in. Typically when I would stop in a city or a town, I would do so, but I wouldn't really enjoy it the way that I should. I, I should have spent, you know, two to three days at some of these places. Whereas a lot of times I just spent one day, um, one day that was pretty well, I was resting the whole time. So I really didn't get the full kind of enjoyment of, uh, of really kind of Vietnam. So I, I kind of want to make a pit stop here in Ho Chi Minh City because I really like it. The fruit is so abundant here. Um, there's a lot of English speaking people here as well. And when you're out on the road for, you know, pretty well, I think it was just about four weeks or so, I mean, really don't get to talk to anyone that uh, speaks English and it kind of gets a little bit lonely after a while. Anyways, I made it here to Ho Chi Minh. I've been uh, just staying for the past few days with a, a friend of mine, James Wolf, who is the the creator of the best bamboo bicycles in the world. I mean, these things are absolutely beautiful. I've seen so many of them here. I'm going to show you some video of uh, of uh, basically James finishing up a couple of absolutely gorgeous uh, bamboo bicycles, and uh, we'll do that right now. Say hello to the camera, James. Hey everybody, this is James Wolf, the bamboo master making boo bicycles. Boo bicycles. Yeah, these are really light and the best bamboo bikes in the world right now. Being raced professionally by uh, Nick Fry and some other pro racers. And uh, this one is uh, actually uh, kind of a, a cross bike, but it's going to be raced um, in uh, some uh, Ironmans. It's going to be oh, raced wow. in about two weeks in the uh, Hawaii Ironman, and then I think there's one like in Arizona after that. So uh, yeah, this is kind of my life here, it's, uh, making bamboo bicycles. Right on, man. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bike. Nice. And what would you say is the kind of the main benefit of going to a, like a bamboo bicycle over, say, a carbon or an aluminum alloy? Um, what is what are the main uh, yeah. kind of selling the, features? The, the main thing, you know, a lot of people do kind of take the green route, but yeah. I, I, I don't buy that. I mean, I do a lot of green stuff, so I have a good conscience about that. But yeah. as a bicycle, it absorbs vibrations in a really, really big way. Um, and so that's really nice. Like when you're riding one of these, it's just super smooth and um, it feels great. You can yeah. ride for a long time. And unlike carbon or another material, yeah. it um, it's just really, really comfortable. It eats up the vibrations and it's, it's uh, it does the body good. 
yeah to not be rattled <laughs> absolutely man fantastic he's got another one just right over here that he's finishing This one is, uh, this one's kind of the one you were just Make looking at. Uh, the one you were just looking at was um, a cross bike and it's it's the RSR. I mean, yeah. it's an RS. So my RS bikes have an integrated carbon fiber seat tube, which goes into a seat mast. And you're like, why carbon? Um, why not bamboo? Most yeah. people ask that. Well, it is lighter, <laughs> but I talked about the vibration dampening a minute ago, and so you got all the vibration is going to start from the wheels and go into yeah. your hands and your butt. But there's no vibrations coming into this, so this and this and this and this eat up the vibration, and this you don't need it. So it lightens it, it stiffens the bottom bracket, yeah, and uh, it it doesn't do anything either way for vibrations. So right. that's, that's the RS model, which is, um, well, it's lighter and sportier. Right. And this is a, uh, this is this is a basically, this is a road bike. This is uh, made in the year 12. It's the 15th bike that I've made this year. It's a 56 centimeter R. And the R bike will have the channels for the derailleur, front and back, um, the stainless steel brake knot that I put in, yeah. this is all completely handmade, completely hand wrapped, hand joined, hand shaped, hand sanded, hand finished. <laughs> uh, really the tools of the trade are your hands and some sandpaper and a chisel. <laughs> And so it's really what yeah. what you do with your hands and those really simple tools. Absolutely, man. Fantastic. There you have it. From the bamboo master himself here in Vietnam. So uh, we've just uh, been hanging out with uh, James here and uh, talking bikes, obviously. And I definitely want a, a boo bicycle for the future. So, I mean... Um, just right now, really have no idea what's going to be happening. I mean, Australia is another option um, that could be happening also sooner, sooner than I thought was going to happen. Because um, I, I was going to head to Australia after I finished uh, this portion of the bike tour in Malaysia. Um, just depending on how things uh, go here through Ho Chi Minh, and uh, we'll finally uh, kind of get the ball rolling here, hopefully. Anyways, I just had to do an update, obviously, because I'm sure a lot of you guys probably understand what, where did I go? I haven't posted a video in over over a week now, and I was doing them every uh, two to three, every four days or so. Anyways, I'm safe. I haven't been hurt the most. The worst injury that I've had so far is I've cut my finger a couple times on a fruit knife. Completely safe. Um, and uh, we're just going to keep rolling with the punches here. Uh, losing the laptop was a big, big, big loss because it doesn't allow me to do everything that I really kind of wanted to do on this trip to make it really super interactive with others. Anyways, just going to chill out for the day, eat some fruit, eat some good food, and uh, we will talk to you guys soon. I'll try to keep you guys a lot more updated with what's going on, and we will talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.